Welcome to Reviewer's View Exponent 2019. My name is Peter Brunninger. My name is Kemper Hull for AV Showrooms. And I'm Terry Arinji with AV Showrooms. I want to lead off and say that this has been a fantastic show this year. Mm -hmm. This is the new CES for high-end audio in North America. And if they branch out internationally, this can be a comp competitor to, uh, to Munich in some ways. It, so many exhibits, such a great exhibit complex. We have a great show this year in, for video for you. We have two new artists we brought to the show for our videos. You know them well. We have Kraftwerk, The Mix, and we have Kate Bush Ariel. We'll be sprinkling that around in the different listening rooms and exhibits that we play. I think that you'll find the music interesting. It is avant-garde, and it is bombastic. Well, with that, we're in the Brocasti room. We just shot a great video of the Brocasti system with a Chinese drum track. When do you hear that? I mean, how are we possibly going to pick best of shows this year? It's, every yeah, room has know, been so good, so don't you think, guys? Yeah, absolutely. Ash, it's just really tough. So it's always ladies first. So Terry wanted to lead us off. Well, I'm going to start with Well Pleased, and I know that uh, both Kemper and I wanted to talk about that, so we will. Uh, in those rhythm, Marga, I think it's Marga V2. Marga. V2 speakers are, are newly developed by Jacob of Rhythm. And well, let me tell you, that speaker it would rival any single driver speaker. And uh, I know single driver speakers now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been living with the Cube speaker. And that speaker, it's doing the same thing the Cube does in a very elegant package. And it's a little bit less. Yeah. I mean, we play the yeah. track that we play very often from the album Conversations. And I heard information there that I've never heard before. That's the truth. And when, at the end, when uh, Amber Solm's daughter comes in, you can hear that very faintly in even some of the best of systems, but mm. this system it was very apparent. What did you think, Peter? Well, it's a yeah. wide, it's a wide bander, it's a wide bander with a powered yeah. subwoofer. Yeah, mm -hmm. very well integrated. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a wide bander with chutzpah on the bottom. Yeah, it yes. really has yeah. impact yeah. and yeah. bass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the few systems I say like one out of every six or seven rooms had significant front to back depth, and this room was a, was amazing with. The sound stage. Uh, the drummer seemed to be out past the window on the balcony somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, terrific uh, uh, detail levels. Uh, just very smooth. The speakers disappeared entirely. Uh, had a uh, Qualiton tube amp on it, formula mm -hmm, deck, mm -hmm. uh, NUO mm -hmm. server. Mm -hmm. uh, just a simple yet terrific sounding system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kepper, since you have the lead here, uh, go ahead and pick another one, please. I'll start with the GT Audio Works oh, room with the, wow. uh, oh, so good. With the uh, Sound Insight subs. Uh, he, he put a different network on the ribbon tweeter to uh, take some of the low frequencies off it. Seemed to loosen it up a little bit, make it uh, a little more lively. They had uh, three 12 inch per side uh, open baffles on, uh, on so you know, stereo had six 12s coming, coming at you. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, they uh, dropped the 845 Zandon and moved into a uh, KT120 bass Zandon amp, and it just added some snap and propulsion and mm -hmm. dynamically uh, really brought the whole system alive. I, I will say that the very best bass in any small room, the open baffle allowed you to have sensational gut crunching bass without being any boominess, no muddiness, no overloading the room. And here was a here's a big pair of speakers and a very small They're room, wavy. and the system worked sensationally well together. Um, I think they did a great job. I think the Kronos uh, Sparta was in that room too. Oh, okay, good, yeah. uh, good, good observing qualities mm -hmm. there. Terry, how about another room? Uh, audio note, really. Oh, I was, was going to say that too. Well, <laughs> yeah, the new T T T T3 turntable that is off the charts good. This was not an expensive system, but when I went into that room today, Sunday. I realized that I was coming home musically. This is the sound that I love. And literally, when I go home, I'm going to be listening to it too. <laughs> but it, it was so musical. Vincent Bellinger did his usual beautiful presentation, played a track from one of his cello records, and it was... Pure cello. 
pure cello, and it was one of the most emotional experiences I had at this show. Play, yeah. Playing along with himself. Yeah, yeah he did not do it in the video. He didn't do it in the video. It but was what, just but wait till you hear the video. It's, it's wonderful. It's, great. it's spectacular. We cranked the volume up a little bit, and it was the same volume as a cello would be in the room. Yeah. So you're going to hear that on that video. And it's really a nice shoot this year because they put the and displayed the equipment a little bit at a higher level of, uh, how can I put it, uh, panache. So you'll see that in the video. Well, I'm going to throw out the room. I was just in an interesting room, the Bayes Audio Room. And that room had that big tube like thing that we saw in the video from Munich last year. We played a Ray Brown trio track, and it was very realistic sounding and natural sounding. The Siege Precision was uh, the uh, innovator driving it. So that was a very interesting room that I thought was uh, just, it just grabbed me emotionally. Um, Kemper, how about another room? Uh, Clayton Shaw's and brand yeah. new special yes, 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 were yes, just yeah. wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. It's an open, ba open baffle 15 inch bass driver, but it's powered by a Hypex internal amp. Mm -hmm. So you have a DSP powered subwoofer essentially, and it's got a 12 inch mid bass driver and that uh, horn loaded Bama mm -hmm. AMT driver. Uh, sensational dynamics, powerful bass. Uh, it had wonderful depth. The speakers just appeared nicely. Mm -hmm. Stage started behind the speakers and then went 15 feet back. Uh, mm -hmm. It's got a smaller one, the uh, X5. Mm -hmm. In most rooms, it'd be the same because you, you can control the amount of bass through the through the DSP and the uh, the powered subwoofer. And uh, at five grand a pair, I think it's going to be a sensational product. Yeah, I, do it's such I, value do yeah. I do too. I do too. Comes out of those rooms. I do too. Terry, have another room. Uh, I'm going to go right to the Still Points room. That was the first room oh, we yeah, did. Oh, yeah, that's right. We like that room. Friday yeah, morning. first shot we did. Um, Rockport speakers. Yeah, go ahead. Go. Sorry. <laughs> Rockport speakers, as Peter said. <laughs> and Bruce Jacobs gave a nice uh, little explanation of how the apertures work in a room. It's sort of, if you, you've seen the aperture review, it, this is sort of an add on almost. He's going to tell mm -hmm. you something a little bit more about them. So I look forward to you seeing this video. He also had the still point rack, and he had um, Madison Audio Labs cabling and the Telos power conditioner. Yeah, it was and his good sound, sound was yeah. very, very beautiful. He, he achieved what he was out to achieve, a very good sounding room. Yeah, so with congratulations the rock ports, yeah, rock ports were to, really to good. still points. Well, I'm going to jump in and uh, say I, we just filmed the Von Schweiker exhibit. We filmed mm -hmm. the yeah. Ultra 9s and then the Ultra 11s. And we got the camera and the mics a little closer to the Ultra 11s. I hope this comes through really good for you because it was outstanding yeah, for me. We played the Kraftwerk track, uh, Radioactivity, which we use in a number of the videos. You can have fun with this track. <laughs> and it was just pow, boom. It just was there. It was just a huge sound. It was your own personal concert. Um, how about nothing I, scales. Nothing like, scales like that speaker. That speaker scale, and then I'll, and I'll keep the floor for one more moment. Another scaling system that shocked me today was the Griffin system, and that system was just huge. It had the new loudspeaker from Griffin. It, I, I'm sorry, it had the new CD player transport, uh, player transport, and it was outstanding. Wait till you see the video of this. I love the way that they designed it. The design eye of this new Griffin product is the back of it. It's almost like it has a tone arm back to the cover. So the cover lifts up like this and the CD goes under the cover. So you can, you can picture it up and down and in a triangle shape. It's just extraordinary. So a big shout out to Griffin Audio. They really palled me. Again, we did the craft work track in that room. and I, I don't know. I want to, <laughs> I'll save that for later, but and maybe I'll take it home. Lemming Rasmussen, who retired from Griffin, Griffin fans would know that. Yeah, yeah. He designed this. He still yeah. designing, so yeah. he's having this partial retirement. And he's, he's doing the fun stuff, the, the stuff he loves to do. Well, this is cool. And this he, is really so cool. So he designed, he designed the CD player. Yeah. Uh, Kepper, how about another room? Uh, can I get back to VAC for a second? Uh, yeah. The yeah. Von Schweikert uh, VAC room with uh, Esoteric and Tekdas and Masterbill. Mm -hmm. I spent four hours there on Saturday night. It was sensational. It was mesmerizing for a whole four hours. And we got to listen to a uh, the very first playing, probably, of MoFi's uh, well, one-step recording of uh, the uh, first Dire Straits album. Mm -hmm. So get your orders in now, it's sensational. <laughs> okay. Okay, Terry, pick another room, please. 
Well, I'm going to pick Next Level Hi-Fi, which introduced the Barnes and Fives. I think it was the yeah. uh, premier in, in premier North America. Premier, yeah. yeah. sensational. sensational, sensational. These are the size <laughs> of the TD 4.1s that we have uh, that Michael designed, uh, and in our listening studio, uh, this is the Borosons' uh, grand achievement for this part of the Borison lineup. It was spectacular. What did you like about it? Well, they played a, <coughs> a track that I'm familiar with now called Liberty. It's a Norwegian female vocalist. Yeah, yeah. And since I've heard it many times, there was, there was a lot more detail, a lot more information. It was beautiful tone, separation of instruments, spatiality. I can't say enough about it. This was the most quiet room at the show. Mm -hmm. Do, do you agree? You even mentioned that yes, the yes, one. it was that. It was the this quietest. Is, this yeah, is, yeah. I think, Barnson's magnus opus. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. Th that, that's how good they are. So, yeah. guys, watch the video. Right, space, <laughs> layering, bass, dynamic range. Uh, these uh, the Borsons uh, excitement, excitement, <laughs> excitement. And speaking about from the same lineage, uh, we had the Rido TD four point two, four point two loudspeaker, uh, Benno from Rido, it's a new uh, chief designer, has a bringing more musicality to the Rido sound. Uh, can, you know, I, I, I really like the detail of the traditional Rido sound, but I'll tell you, he can win me over with these, so this is a really beautiful yeah. loudspeaker. You know, it's yeah. like a hybrid yeah. of, the, yeah. of, of the old Rido and the old Rido and the gamut. And the gamut. Yes, very you're right. Crazy. Well said. It's all that yes. clarity, detail, accuracy that you get from a Rido speaker with an organic um, element. Element. Yeah. element. Yeah. An yeah. organic yeah. element. Yeah. Thank you, Cameron. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so and that was another very quiet room. That was another deadly quiet room. Core electronics in that room, viewers. Uh, great, great room. And Kevin, how about another room? I have to pick the Odyssey room. Well, oh, oh. Yeah. Klaus has the oh, best dude. sound stage of any small room, period. No, nothing came close. Uh, our Braxis had a huge wide sound stage. Stuff was five feet beyond the walls and 10 feet, 15 feet back. Uh, how he gets the depth and the emotional impact. He played a Miles Davis piece, I got goosebumps mm -hmm. for just being emotionally attached to the whole piece. Nobody uh, does, does imaging like Klaus. I know, I know. I don't know how he does it so affordably, but he does yep. it consistently, yep. all the time, and it's, it's, it's gear that we can all afford. Yeah, that, that room, uh, that's on my short list of take-home rooms. It's the best Odyssey room I've ever heard. Uh, again, soundstage, layering, dynamic range, it's all there. And the video's going to be really cool because Klaus hams it up at the end. <laughs> Wait till you see what he does. So, teaser for that room. Um, Terry, how about another room? Synergistic research. There you go, synergistic research. And then we do do synergistic research room a lot, and we like it a lot. Why? Because it's always great. And there's great. Not, the holographic sound there is just, you have to hear it in person. You have to hear it. And, and you mentioned quiet, that room. That's is another, another, another quiet room. I mean, these guys work really hard but to achieve what they get. Magical loudspeakers, this time Griffin amplification. <laughs> we played, uh, the, again, the Kraftwerk radioactivity. And it was explosive. It just went boom when it first when it first comes in. I couldn't believe it. I sat there and I my my jaw did actually it fell off the <laughs> bottom of my head. And so I had to pick my jaw back up just to start to listen to some more because it was like whoa! I can't believe this. Yeah, and Ted and Ted wow. also demoed his new product, the, the power cord. And we're going to have that a video on that. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. That was an outstanding room. Uh, Kepper, another room, please. I would go with Roger Sanders Electrostats. Uh, these are stats that rock, they're transparent in both senses, you can see right through them and they have enormous uh, detail retrieval. Mm -hmm. They're clear, they're uncolored, wonderful blend of the woofer to the panels. He's got 2,000 watts to the panels and 2,000 watts to the speaker. You're not going to have any kind of uh, clipping, it's effortless, um, low bass drum kit, percussion was just Sensational, off the charts. Well done, Roger. Mm -hmm. Shout out to uh, Roger. Terry, down the room. Okay, I'm going to pick a new a new uh, loudspeaker that's new to us. I mean, this this company's been in business for 25 years. It's called the Acoustic uh, Quality Room. Acoustic, acoustic Quality. Acoustic Quality. Yes. Excuse me. That's the name of the brand. They're from the Czech Republic. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And they we listen to their flagship, which is called Passion. 
and it had this huge soundstage, Peter, remember? And yeah, it did. powerful, yeah. rich sound when we played Yulunda from Dead Can Dance. Yeah, and we, we uh, there was an organicness to the sound of that speaker. Uh, it came out in the room in layers, and it, had, and it was almost as if the frontal images were of the instruments and the shakers and everything that's in that track were there standalone here in an organic space. And that, that's a little different twist on what I norm, normally hear in that track. Uh, so that was extremely impressive. Mm -hmm. So yes, we want to. We're there on our radar screen right now to Absolutely. follow in Absolutely. high performance audio. Uh, again, acoustic quality. 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 Thank you. Or acoustic, acoustic quality. or acoustic quality. Kepper helping on the room. The uh, LSA stand mounts. <laughs> yes. Are going to put. Lots of four to ten k monitors <laughs> so, on notice. On notice, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well put. <laughs> this has stupendous low bass. I kept asking, "Are you sure it's not the floor standards?" No, it's just it's the little monitors uh, under two k. Um, terrific uh, clarity. There were the, another one, a few rooms that had the sound stage starting behind the speakers, then it went ten feet back. They had great front to back depth. Mm -hmm. It was just a surprise. Uh, surprise product. Uh, Walter's had a great job, uh, had terrific depth, and it was just fun to listen to music in that room. It, the, the speakers got out of the way, mm -hmm. had a simple little uh, Emerald Physics 100.2 SE amp driving it, uh, so you, it don't, you don't have to spend 40k to get good sound. That was a terrific room at a very affordable price. No, I'm going to second uh, the shout out and the kudos to that room, because when I sat down, we did a video of the stand mount, we did a video of the floor stander, and then we did a video of the stand mount with and without the DSP. I think the DSP made the stand mount really, it gave it the base. And we, we shot the video, and I was astounded. I, could, I couldn't believe it. And, we, and I asked a, a viewer who was sitting behind us, what, do you, what, what, what did you think? And he said, I can't believe that that, that exactly. monitor had that kind of bass and that beauty and that sound stage. I said, well, which would you take? Well, from what I just heard, uh, that, that, that would be one of my take-home products. So, again, we look forward to the floor stander in, in, in from next time we hear it. But this stand now, oh, is that a winner? My gosh. There's a passive radio on the backside, which really helps get yeah, that yeah. extra off down yeah, low. Yep, yep. And Terry, how about another room? I want to mention the Raven Audio Room. And Dave Thompson, who walked us through the system, we found out that he used to be a recording artist and writer, and a singer and writer, and he was on the charts for several weeks. Country Western mm -hmm. style, beautiful voice, a song he wrote, that's what we recorded. So in the Raven Room, guys, yeah. you're going to hear a recording of Dave Thompson singing this heartbreaking love song in that, you know, that, that that country style that I just love. And now I wish her the best in life. And as a matter of fact, if he treats her wrong again, she can always come back. A new line of loudspeakers yes. and so it was interesting because we we recorded the room and before we hit the uh, the red button I said well what's what music should we use and uh, Dave said well you know I have this here this is this should have no problem with YouTube copyrights and I, <laughs> yeah, I said well why is that he said it's because it's my song I said what do you mean it's your song he said well I sang that song I said oh okay and I wrote it and I wrote it and, uh, so that's the first for us. Yeah, because we all know Raven Electronics, beautiful tube amplifiers. All the new stuff they yeah. have. Yeah, they have new power coat finish on it, so you don't, you know, you, if you, you know, you don't get fingerprints on it. It's just stunning to look at. They start at uh, approximately five thousand dollars for their entry level. You can go all the way up to the top of the market, thirty plus thousand dollar mono blocks that are just to die for, and there's even even higher level than that. But these new loudspeakers, they were very, oh, very they good. Were really good. Yeah, they surprised were me. surprised me too. Yeah, but yeah. I, I think the interesting thing is when we played the song, I was it was emotionally moving. Yeah, it was. And Dave got back into the shot, and uh, he was a little choked up. And then he said after the shoot, he said, "You know, I wrote that song uh, about my girlfriend, uh, but you know, back when I was a younger man, In late eighties. Yeah, late eighties, and she just passed away last week, and it brought a tear to my eye." So we all started like, oh no, it was, yeah, a, it was, it was, really it was such a moving but thing. Back to the, the, what we're talking about here, audio, two blubbers. 
You've got to tune into this video because the, what, how he talks about the tubes. Yeah, oh yeah, he's and, a tube expert. I mean, he, he owns all these rare tubes that yeah. people can't get their hands yeah. on, so yeah. you're getting what he's got to say. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Kimber, how about another room? I will take uh, Sandy Gross's Golden Ear. He uh, re introduced a new Triton 1.R, which mm -hmm. is essentially more of a trickle down from the Titan reference than a trickle up from the Triton 1. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Deal's Prima Luna Evo system with uh, his new uh, tube DAC. I thought it was just a terrific system. Uh, very, very solid, deep, tight bass. More clarity than my Triton 1s have had. Mm -hmm. More mid-range clarity throughout mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can know the Golden Ear better than I do. Yeah. And the, uh, so he had a typical Sandy wide apart. Sound stage was deep and wide, precisely focused imaging. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a, a, a great system. There's about six grand a pair, mm -hmm. uh, and you you know no subwoofer needed. That's a that's an all-in-one system. Uh, I thought it was just terrific with uh, what tubes tubes driving them. Mm -hmm. Very nicely done. I, uh, I'm going to shout out uh, as we come uh, as we come to the close of Reviewers View the GTT room. Uh, the GTT room was introducing the Vantage speaker from YG, and it's giving you all of the top-end beauty of the top-level mm -hmm. YG speakers uh, in a smaller package, smaller format package. It fits between the Carmel and the Haley 2, and it was stunning in its spatiality. Its signature from YG is its cleanliness and its accuracy, and this is, a, this is another winner for YG. You'll hear it. We do the craft work on that track as well, in that room as well, and it was just everybody was going, "Wow!" Cool. And Bill solid low base. Solid low Bill base. talks about four U.S. premier products, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Yes. That includes a new uh, line of cabling from Kabbalah Sustain. It does, and then it was uh, actually the uh, the North American uh, preview, or I should, should say debut of the Kronos uh, Kronos stage. Uh, Kronos stage. So, with the power supply. With the power supply. And also the uh, Timiki uh, DAC from, from, Mola Mola. from Mola Mola. I mean, that DAC, we did hear it up at it's GTT really, it's three, quite yeah, the thing. Yeah, three, week, or three weeks ago Very or so. Impressive. We were really impressed with that DAC up at GTT Audio when we did a location shoot. Um, anything else, Tara? Well, I'm going to wrap up my segment yep. with Rick Schultz oh. from High Fidelity <laughs> Cable. You've got to see You've this. You've got to see this to believe this. This was so much fun, I wish I could have spent hours <laughs> in dancing. <laughs> Drinking and dancing. I mean, it was just... It was a party, and I can't even describe it. It was at the end, it wasn't a room, it was at the right. end of a hall. And of a hallway in the convention center. We're talking a space that's huge. And it's it's all, you know, you're talking almost half a football field in length of the... the 50 feet wide. 50 feet, 50, maybe 100 feet wide. And here he sets up his speakers, which are those panel speakers. Mm -hmm. uh, and he has all of the high fidelity cables mm -hmm. uh, out front, you know, the big magnetics in front of it. I mean, you'll see it in the video. It's a video. This is a eye candy. I mean, this is just uh, eye candy and ear candy. And when we played, again, here we did the Kraftwerk track, everybody was just jumping up and down behind us. There must have been 50 people gathered around behind us. They were dancing. We, and they were dancing. I mean, this was just a spectacle to behold. It was wonderful. This is why you come to these shows. You'll find these spectacle exhibits that you'll never forget yeah. as long as you live. Mm -hmm. It was just awesome. She drew a crowd. It, she did draw, draw, draw a huge, huge crowd. Well, that wraps up Reviewer's View for Expona 2019. And what do we do at every Reviewer's View? We take a product or we take a room home. So I'm going to have Kemper lead off. What would you take home, Kemper? Well, I've sometimes taken home things that were good for me. Mm -hmm. This time, it's a win-win for my wife and myself. I would take home the Gail Sanders Icon System. Oh, Icon, yeah. Finish, mm -hmm. Do a sapel, beautiful wood grain. It's essentially a large speaker in a petite box. It gives me the, the, the scale, the, the, the power, the deep bass, the dynamic excitement. Yet, it comes in a little teeny package. Yes, yeah, it's beautiful. That's all that wide, yeah. You've got one box that does all of his DSP. The amps are in the speaker. Mm -hmm. You need a streamer or a source, mm -hmm. and that's it. So, mm -hmm. two boxes, 
and the speakers, and I, I see it being mm. sensationally popular with people who it's are a wonderful, yeah. music lovers who don't want a dominant speaker in That's the room. That's right. That's they don't want boxes in the room or wires in the room. It's, yeah. it's very smart. It was yep. just terrific, just yep. sensational sounding. Yep. And Terry, what's your take home? Forest and Fives. Oh, 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 no hesitation there. Oh, easy, <laughs> choice. easy choice. Easy choice. I want them. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, for the first time, I'm going to take home a Griffin room. I'm going to take the whole oh, damn room home because yeah. it really moved me today. I really got a charge out of that room. I was sitting there when I was recording it going, you know, this has got the warmth and the layering and the mid-range, and it really socks me and pals me in the chest. And maybe it is that new CD player had a lot to do with it because we had brought both the vinyl and the digital, the CD, the red book of the Kraftwerk mix. So, yeah, I need to get an extension on the house for the Griffin room. <laughs> Sorry, Terry. It's okay. Good thing it's all a dream. Time for a new house. Time for a new house. <laughs> yeah. Well, that wraps Reviewer's View for Expona 2019. We're filming this as it's snowing outside. We've got a good four to five inches of snow on the ground right now. On April 14th. We, on April 14th in Chicago, uh, USA. So, uh, greetings to the world, of, and uh, thank you for joining us for thank Reviewer's you. View. Uh, Kemper Holt, thank you for your report. Thank you, Peter. This is Kemper Holt for AV Showroom signing off. Terry Orenji, thank Terry you for Arringi. your report. Terry Orenji, AV Showroom. And uh, Peter Bringer signing off for AV Showrooms from Expona 2019, the biggest and greatest audio yeah. show I've attended in the United States. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for viewing. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.